Egal. Hallo? Thank you. One person. I will do uh, one more poem for you. Um, but a couple of things to say beforehand because I forgot last night and I always forget. Um, I have some CDs that I'm going to get made properly when I'm in Berlin. They're not made properly yet, but I still have the CDs. So if you want them cheap, I will do them cheaper. They are normally six euro. Tonight you can have one for three euro if you want. Um, so just come and see me. I have a bunch. Um, and it has lots of my different poems on there. Um, this, uh, oh, and if you don't have three euro, um, or you don't want to give it to me, that's fine. But uh, find me online as well on the internet at Miko Poetry, M-I-K-O Poetry, on Facebook, Instagram and stuff. I do a lot of work in schools. And because of that, I have to impress like 13 year old boys. And all they care about is how many people on Instagram follow me and things like that. So you can help my career. This poem is a, is a love poem. Oh, yes. Uh, in France, when I do this in France, it's called Papillon. Uh, in English, of course, I call it Butterfly. Uh, but here in Germany, it's Schmetterling. Ich liebe dich. Her favorite animal was the butterfly. When I asked her why, she said, I don't know. They're pretty. I told her that my favorite animal was the rhino because they're quiet, clever, and strong. And those are three things I often struggle to be, you see. We saw the world differently. One day she complained to me that I write too many love poems and none are about her. Why don't you write me, she said. Why don't you write me? But if you took the time to listen, you would know that I write you love poems every day. But like a rabbit being pulled out of a hat, sometimes the magic is gone when you have to explain it. How plain it is for me to see that I've been writing you love poems that you just never cared to read. Look, just because I never handed you a piece of paper that compared you to a summer's day or a wilting rose, did you never suppose that maybe the reason my heart beats so loud is it has something to say? It just wants to be heard. And look, in spite of what you may think, I don't always have the words. That's why as poets, we speak in metaphors. It's not to try and act smarter. It's because being direct is fucking harder. When you heard me say, take my coat... I was trying to say, let me shelter you. When you heard, these are my friends, I was saying, welcome to my family. When you heard, this is my family, I was saying, I really hope our relationship can survive this. 200 baby pictures of me in the bath, every single one with a strategically placed rubber duck. The day I moved from holding your hand to interlocking our fingers, I was saying, I'm ready for us to hold each other. And when you asked me what I was thinking about and you heard me say, nothing. I said, I love you. <laughs> like, I'm sorry if that wasn't clear. Sometimes I forget, I'm just staring into your eyes, waiting for something magical to appear. The script I'm meant to follow because believe me, I will learn my lines if it will get me the part. I said, I would draw you a picture, but I'm no good at art. And you said, everyone can draw. And I proved you wrong. I drew a cartoon picture of the two of us eating ice cream on top of a mountain. And all you could point out was the continuity errors. Like, eh, why are my hands bigger than my head? I said, so they can hold me. She said, don't you remember that I'm allergic to dairy? I said, it's sorbet. She said, how did we get to the top of the mountain before the ice cream even melted? I said, teleportation. She said, that doesn't exist. I said, no, not yet, but one day it will. And when it does, I really hope we're still together on top of a fucking mountain. Look, I know I color outside of the line sometimes, but I wish you could read between them and see that that picture said, I love you. I love you enough to share with you my weaknesses and my insecurities to let you see how much I suck at drawing. Instead of just clawing you into bed with a highlight reel of my best features, look, I don't want the trailer to give it all away. 
So I'm glad you like the car chases, but you've got to stay long enough to see this plot develop. Look, I will envelop you with love if you let me. Keep you safe with unbreakable arms, I will protect you. And look, that has got nothing to do with masculinity. It's just the task you've given me when we're wrapped in infinity. The bedsheet round us like a cocoon. We grew together. Don't you remember how no one else could enter and we would never leave? And you looked me in the eyes and asked me if I believe that butterflies ever miss being caterpillars. Thank you, Abhimiko. Have a good night. Thank you.